Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be taking a look at an interesting trait that Neo Regilia has when it comes into flower. So you know what? The sun is shining. Well, it's kind of cloudy out, but the island breeze is blowing and it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, why don't we take a look at this interesting trait in Neo Regilias when they come into flower. So okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting trait that the genus Neo Regilia has when it comes into flower. Now, if you'll remember, Neo Regilia does not get an inflorescence that rises above the cup. It stays down there like this. This is Neo Regilia cookie. I think it's got some really pretty color. It is a hybrid, and you can see the inflow right down there in the tank. And remember, that will never rise above the cup. But guess what? This is also near Regilia cookie. Let's see if I can get it in the frame there and take a look. See how it's upright? And then take a look at this cookie and look how it's flattened out. Now I'm going to see if I can get them. Let's move back here and see if I can show you and take a look at the different architecture. Take a look at this plant right here. This is not coming into an inflorescence. It's not coming into flower. And see how it's upright? Let's bring this in here and take a look. See how the leaves are more vertical? Okay, so take a look at this. It's the same plant, this cookie. And take a look. See how it's flattened out? So there's a reason for that. Now remember that if you have an inflorescence that rises above the cup of this plant, well, pollinators can get to it, but near Regilia, it's down in there, way down in there. So what does near Regilia do? Well, near Regilia has evolved this architectural trait that when it's young, it has no need to flatten the leaves out. And you can see that they're straight. So Neo Regilia has evolved this trait so that it can be pollinated when it comes into flower. So if you take a look, you can see there's no flower here and the leaves are more vertical. But remember that the flower structure, and actually remember it's an inflorescence. Take a look, you can see that little flower down in there. Well, if these leaves were more vertical, then pollinators would never be able to get down into that inflow to uh, get that flower fertilized. So what Neo Regilia does is it flattens out. Take a look, it's more like a flattened out disc now. And I always like to say that what it's doing is it's forming a nice little landing strip for all of the pollinators to get in there. Now you can see the pollinators can see that that flower is there, but if this plant had an inflow that was down in that cup, they would not be able to see it, would they? So I've got another example I want to show you, and for that we're going to go to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida. So this is a Neo Regilia. Uh, it's called Purple Passion. Um, it has a really nice color to it. Um, we're getting a little bit of glare here. The sun's starting to come up at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads, but I want you to take a look at the difference in the rosette. One plant is younger than the other, and I wonder if you can figure out which one it is. Okay, so the plant on the right, the Neo Regilia Purple Passion on the right, is younger, and I'm going to come on over here and see if I can get right over top of the rosette. And I think as you can see, the rosette is pretty vertical. Now take a look at the purple passion that is on the left. And you can see that that is coming into flower. Now again, this is a Neo Regilia. The inflorescence does not rise above the cup, but I want you to take a look at the difference. I'm gonna zoom on in here. Let's see if we can get a good picture of it. And I'm going to show you 
how the leaves have started to flatten out. So if you take a look, you can see the flowers. Let's see if we can get zoom in there and take a look at the flowers. And that's those white structures down in the inflow. See them? Isn't that cool? Okay, so those are the true flowers. And take a look. I'm going to pull back a little bit. And I want you to take a look at the foliage and see how the foliage has flattened out on this Neo. And what that does, it allows pollinators to get into uh, the cup of the plant since the inflorescence dies, doesn't rise above the cup and uh, those flowers can potentially be pollinated. And then we take another look at the younger plant that has yet to get an inflow. And you can take a look and see that that foliage is really straight up and down. And if it did have an inflorescence, it would never get pollinated. So that's why Neoregilia has two different growth habits before and after uh, the inflorescence forms. And this gives another great idea. Boy, you can see the difference, can't you? I think it's a really cool adaptation. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at this interesting part of Neoregilia anatomy and how they do change their architecture when they come into flower. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.